Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Hey there, history buffs. Welcome to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm your host, Chuck. And I'm Marco. Glad to have you with us as we dive deep into the life of a figure who played a crucial role in the American Revolution, yet is often overshadowed by more famous names. That's right, today, we're talking about Bernardo de Galvez. Ah, Bernardo. The unsung hero of the revolution. And Marco, did you know, he had a bit of an obsession with spicy food? Some say that he'd judge a place based on its peppers. Always starting off with the food anecdotes aren't you? But hey, who can resist a good pepper? Alright, let's start with a bit about Bernardo's early life and family history. Bernardo de Galvez in Madrid was born in 1746 in Macaravia, a small town in Spain. He came from a notable family. His father, Matias de Galvez, was a high-ranking official in the Spanish government. Yes, and his uncle, José de Galvez, played a significant role in the Spanish colonization of the Americas, especially in New Spain, which we now know as Mexico. It's safe to say that politics ran in his veins, and early on, he was destined for greatness. As for his political beliefs, Galvez was a loyal servant of the Spanish crown, and he believed in a strong centralized government. Spain, at this time, was undergoing a series of reforms, and he supported these. True. He held several political appointments, the most prominent being the governor of Louisiana, a post he took up in 1777. This position was instrumental in defining his role in the American Revolution. Speaking of the Americas, Bernardo de Galvez had a significant hand in Spanish colonial affairs. He understood the importance of maintaining a strong Spanish presence against other colonial powers, particularly the British. And when the American Revolution broke out, Spain wasn't initially involved. But thanks to Galvez's influence and strategic insights, Spain covertly supported the American rebels. Remember, Spain wasn't exactly doing this out of the kindness of their hearts. They had their eyes on a bigger prize, curbing British power. That's where Galvez's military genius shines. He led Spanish forces against the British, capturing key posts like Baton Rouge Mobile and eventually Pensacola which hindered the British supply lines. The man knew his way around a battlefield and a spice cabinet. The American Revolution was a global conflict. While most remember it as the 13 colonies against Britain, it involved various global powers, including France and Spain. Galvez, in many ways, was the face of Spanish involvement. His support was not just military. He played a crucial role in sending funds, troops, and supplies to aid the American rebels. Some historians even argue that without his support, the outcome of the war might have been different. Exactly. Think about it, no Galvez, no spicy revolution. All right folks, before we continue with Galvez's incredible story, let's take a quick break for a word from our sponsors. When the world hits hard, hit back harder with Strike Force Energy. The zero sugar, zero calorie, power-packed energy drink additive that fuels your adventure. Just a quick squeeze turns any drink into a relentless power source. Perfect for your workout, your hike, your life. Ready to strike? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com use coupon code UTSALAX24 for an explosive 20% off your order. Strike Force Energy, unleash your potential. Strike Force Energy, fuel the fight within you. And we're back. Marco, where were we? So, after the revolution, Galvez had a stint in politics. He was appointed the Viceroy of New Spain. But here's where it gets controversial. There's a story, albeit debated among historians, about Galvez's reluctance to help farmers in the region. When economic hardship struck and they sought aid, Galvez was initially hesitant. Yes, and his thoughts on Shays' Rebellion, a farmer uprising in Massachusetts, are fascinating. He viewed it as a symptom of weak governance and believed a strong hand was necessary in such situations. Remember, he's coming from a perspective of Spanish colonial governance. Absolutely. He felt that a revolt like Shays was a threat to any government stability. His experiences in the Americas definitely shaped these views. Unfortunately, Galvez's life was cut short. He died in 1786 at the age of 40, possibly due to an illness. But his legacy lived on. He's honored in various ways across the U.S. 
In fact, Galveston, Texas, is named in his honor. It's truly a testament to his impact that, despite being from a different nation and culture, he's revered and remembered in the annals of American history. Amen to that. And who knows, maybe his love for spicy food influenced the rich culinary traditions of the places he touched. Always back to the food with you Chuck. Well, that's it for today's episode on Bernardo de Galvez. A true titan of history, with a hint of spice. Thank you for joining us on the History AI Podcast. Until next time, keep exploring and remember, history is everywhere. Especially in your spice cabinet. Goodbye folks. Be sure to like, follow, and leave a review. Bye everyone.